Hey everyone and welcome back to another video from Inside Wire. In this video, we go back to our Unify network where we're going to be setting up a site-to-site -site VPN. But before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button if you do like the video as well. Now there's a few reasons why you might want to do this. You might want to have a constant access to a network for which there's a device on the other side or you have two businesses which you require to have constant access and communication between the two networks or perhaps you're just merging with another business and you want the two networks to be able to communicate with each other. To set this up you'll need access to the Unify network controller on both sides unless you have someone setting it up on the other side for you or has already configured it. In that case if they already have configured it for you then you're going to require the following. You'll need the remote subnets that you're going to be connecting to, the remote IP and the pre-shared key that is going to exist between the two sites. The only thing I would make sure between the two sites is to make sure the password is secure and that it doesn't get into anybody's hands. Anyway, let's jump straight in. So we have, I have two Unify um, networks either side of each other. One is actually running version 6 which is my one on the left and the one on the right is running version 5. So you can actually see how this network is set up on both versions. So let's start with the one on the right. Jump in straight in, you would go down to VPN and VPN connection so we can create the VPN connection here. We're going to create a Unify to Unify VPN. And then we're going to call this Office to Home. We're going to choose manual IP sec. We're going to enable this. We're going to add in the remote subnets. So 10.1.1.0 slash 24. Uh, we can add that one. And we're also going to add 10.20.10.0 slash 24. So that goes down here and this is where the more interesting and information comes in. So we need the peer IP, your local WAN IP and the pre-shared key that you create. So let's just pop in the peer IP. So that would be your IP on the opposite side. So we post uh, paste this followed by the IP uh, local WAN IP. So the IP on this side. One side note for you to note is just when you have a static IP, this works perfectly fine. When you have a dynamic IP like I do on one side, it will work temporarily until your IP is reset. Uh, we then pop in a pre-shared key as I was typing in when I was saying. So it's a very simple pre-shared key just to make sure it works and we'll leave the advanced section for now. We won't delve too much into there. So you can see in the top right hand corner we have this set up here, office to home. Unify and it has the subnets on there. Uh, so on the left hand side you want to go to your settings and networks. We're going to create a new network here and we'll call this one home to office. Uh, VPN settings so we want to make this a site to site VPN manual IP sec. Now the subnet on the other side is 10.70.0.0 slash 24 and we'll click create there and that's the subnet on the other side and the other thing I was going to do let's just fill this in um, so the peer IP is here and WAN IP, local WAN IP is here. So pop, it, pop in the same pre-shared key. You have to make sure it's exactly the same for the authentication to happen between the two sites. What I have also actually done is I'll pop this, pop this up here, um, just on this side actually, while I click continue. So the IP from my local network across to the other side is 10.70.0.245. So I'm going to let that run on that side and I'm hoping this live demo won't prove me wrong. But 
we then just need to click apply which I am currently in the way of. And then that's created on that side. So, and there you go. Um, that was fairly instant. You can see that ping is now applying and I can access anything across on that side. So currently at the moment, I can only access the 10.70 network, but you saw in remote subnets where you can actually add more in there. One topic I won't cover and possibly go into another one, which is a bit more complex and probably a bit more advanced than your standard basic one, basic uh, VPN setup, which is uh, if two of the same subnets and exist on either side. But for now, we won't cover that and yeah, that is how you set up a network, site-to-site uh, -site VPN. I hope you found this video useful. It is very quick and easy to get a site-to-site -site VPN configured. If you have more than two sites, then I guess this might be a topic for another day as it gets a bit more complex. Once again, remember to subscribe to my channel and drop me a comment if you find these videos useful below. If this is something you are struggling with or need some help setting up, feel free to reach out to me via social media or drop me an email, which you can find associated to my YouTube account. All the products are in the description below, so feel free to check them out. This is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.